put a little bit more light on. Woo, sorry, that was bright. <laughs> Those ring lights are always brighter than I, my ring lights always brighter than I realized. Okay, my friends, so welcome. Like I said, my name is Carrie McGinn. I'm a physical therapist and yoga teacher in Berkshire County, Massachusetts, and I own a company called Live Good, Feel Good. So we're going to get started on our backs today. Highly recommend having two blocks available if needed. Um, so you can have them on the top of your mat. If not, you can use things like tables or walls to support your practice. Let's get started. Legs are going to come long, arms by your side, or find any position where your body feels really fully supported here. So knees can be together, feet, just a place that you can land and breathe and give yourself all this space to just kind of, <sighs> I think I just saw someone on the chat mentioning that they are also dealing with shoulder tension, lots of driving today so take a moment to whether you just had a stressful drive or not to just whew, let it all land let your body just really melt into the floor beneath you and let yourself just really start to let go of anything that you need to We've already kind of had a few people check in with their shoulders, need some space. Can you check in with the rest of your body, the rest of your being, and see what else it is you might need from this practice? Filling up and letting go. And as you do this, kind of check in. Can you tune into your breath? your inhales and your exhales. The rise and fall, the ebb and flow. Continuing to check in with the corners of your body, the edges of your body as you let your breath move through you in. And out, fill up, and let go. And then on your next inhale, reach your arms overhead, legs long down the mat. Nice, big early morning stretch of your chest. Oh, God. Maybe yawn a little bit there. And then exhale, walk the feet over to the left. Right ankle crosses on top of left. And you're going to pick your shoulders up and over to the left as well. Just a little banana asana. Your left hand is going to reach for your right wrist as you breathe through the right rib cage. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Full breath in. Long breath out. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, come on back through center, unwind. Reach fingertips to toe tips, fill up. And then walk your feet over to the right. Left ankle is going to cross on top of right. Shoulders pick up and over. Your right hand is going to reach for your left wrist as you reach through the fingertips, breathing into the side body. In and exhale. Now try to keep the left shoulder blade, the left side of your pelvis, kind of glued to the mat. Take a breath in. And then exhale, unwind back through center. Reach fingertips to toe tips one more time. Inhale. Exhale, gather the knees in. Give yourself a squeeze. Take a little circle of the low back in one direction. And then the other, just gently massaging this area. And then hug the right knee in as you send the left leg long. Give the right knee a squeeze. Take an inhale. On your exhale, right arm's going to come out to the side. Right leg comes across your body for a twist. Take a nice deep breath in. And a long breath out. Filling up. And letting go. 
Beautiful. Take one more breath in here. And then exhale, come on back through center. You're going to bend the left knee and cross the right ankle over the left thigh for a figure four. You might keep the left foot on the ground or you can loop your hands through as you hug the left leg in. A little rock side to side. Sometimes when we've been seated for a lot or we've been driving a long ways, we can hold tension in through our hips and pelvis as well. Can you soften into the shape? Release, left foot to the mat, right foot to the mat, arms by your side. Take a little mini bridge pose, press through the feet, lift up the hips, take an inhale, stay for the exhale. Another full breath in, release the hips to the mat, to windshield wiper the knees, side to side. One more inhale, reach the arms overhead, legs long down your mat. Exhale, gather the knees into your chest. Another little circle in one direction. And then the other. Coming back through center. Extend the right leg, hug the left knee in. Pause for a moment to inhale. And then exhale, left arm out to the side, left leg across the body for a twist. Full breath in, long breath out, filling up and letting go. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, come on back through center. Plant the right foot flat, cross the left ankle over the right thigh and hug it in and give it a squeeze. Figure four, full breath in, long breaths out. Allow the hips, the pelvis, the low belly to soften here. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release, right foot to the mat, left foot to the mat, feet press down. As you peel the hips up off the mat and hold. Breathing for four, three, two, one. Hips are gonna come down, knees are gonna hug into your chest. And then this time you're gonna rock and roll along your spine. Let it feel good for a moment. Have a little fun even, and then cross your ankles and come to tabletop, hands and knees. All 10 fingers spread wide, all 10 toes are gonna tuck under, you're just gonna rock a little bit back into the feet and forward into the hands. And back into the feet and forward into the hands. Alrighty, untuck the toes, give them a little tap out and start to take some cow, -cow tilts. On your inhale, lift your heart, Lift your tailbone, drop the belly. On your exhale, press the ground away and round. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the tailbone, drop the belly. Exhale around. Just a few more here, inhaling and exhaling. You might wiggle a little bit side to side or shift a little bit forward and back. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Filling up and letting go. Well, then come on back to a neutral tabletop. Press the palms away. You're gonna press into the right hand as you peel the left arm up to the sky and then thread the needle, left arm underneath, right armpit, left shoulder, left cheek to the mat. Right hand can stay where it is, or you reach long. Four breaths here, opening the back of the shoulders. Oh. 
Alrighty. Right hand's gonna plant. Left arm reaches up, take a counter twist open. Both hands back to the mat. Left hand firms down, right arm peels up, take an inhale. Thread it under, right arm underneath, left armpit, right shoulder, right cheek down. Left hand stays where it is or it reaches long. Breathing out. Breathing out. Filling up and letting go. So, so good. And press into the left hand. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Take an inhale. Both hands back to the mat. Exhale. Hips stay where they are. Arms are going to walk long. Lower the heart down to the mat. A little puppy dog pose. Take a full breath in. Really let it go. Inhale. And exhale. All right, you're going to gaze forward. Look at your fingertips. Draw your heart forward as you send your hips back for a little sphinx pose. Continuing to give those shoulders a little TLC. Tuck the elbows in, firm the hands down. Take an inhale. On your exhale, gaze over the left shoulder and just pause for a moment. Pressing down through the tops of the toes, pressing down through the elbows. One more inhale. On your exhale, right cheek's going to come to the mat and your right arm's coming out to the side in a T. So if you look over at your right hand, hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, all in a straight line. As your right cheek comes to the mat, you're going to press into the left hand and stretch out the front of the right shoulder. And you don't need to crank on it and make it the most intense thing ever, but you want to feel a little sensation on the front of the shoulder. Take a full breath in. And a long breath out. One more inhale. Stay for the exhale. Come on back through center. Sphinx pose. Elbows underneath shoulders. Press the palm, the elbows away. Lift the heart. Find this back bend shape again. Inhale. Exhale, gaze over the right shoulder. Pause. Press down through the elbows and toes. Stay connected to your breath. Release the left cheek to the mat as the left arm comes out to side in a T. Right hand plants down as you roll over onto the left shoulder, opening the front of the shoulder here. And you might notice that one shoulder is a little bit tighter than the other. That can be really, really normal. And you just spend an extra breath on that tighter side. Exhale back through center. Come to Sphinx pose one more time. Elbows down, heart pulls through. We're going to come up to a forearm plank. Option, just take your first one on your knees, just lifting your hips, or to lift your toes and heels. And press the elbows down, press the toes back, breathing for five, holding for four, three, two, and one. Release the hips. Bring the elbows wide, stack the palms, forehead to hands. Bring your awareness into the back of your rib cage, the back of your heart, the back of your shoulders. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Another breath in. And out. Elbows come underneath your shoulders. Sphinx pulse. Lift your heart. You're going to take the left arm out to the side in a T, and then you're going to bend the left elbow so it's at a 90 degree angle. Left cheek to the mat as you roll over onto the left shoulder. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. And one more inhale. Exhale this time back through center and take it right over to the right. Right arm out to the side, right elbow bends as you gently roll over onto the right arm, opening up the front of the shoulder. These are just slightly different uh, chest muscles, shoulder muscles. All righty, come on back through center on your exhale. I'm going to take your palms underneath your shoulders, press yourself tabletop to child's pose, toes touch, knees wide. Send your hips back. I'm going to de-layer here for a moment now that we've gotten things moving. <laughs> and just take a moment to feel the space in the back of your heart. 
the reaching of the crown of your head forward and your tailbone back. Two more breaths here. Alrighty, press down into your palms, pull it forward, tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Shake your head, yes. And no. Take a nice deep breath in. And a long breath out. Just really feeling into the lower body. Starting to get the, feel the openness that you just created in the shoulders. Continuing to explore where you've landed here today. Full breath in. Long breaths out. Filling up and letting go. Find a moment in stillness in your down dog. Take an inhale. Stay for the exhale. Walk your feet to meet your hands at the top of your mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to grab opposite hand to opposite elbow and hang nice and heavy. Take a nice full breath in. And let it go. Another inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Press your palms into your shins. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale, the fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. You can still face the top of your mat. I'm just going to face you so you can see. Reach the palms up. Take a little side bend over to the left. Back through center. Side bend to the right. Back through center. Arm circle at back pause. Let the eyes close down for a moment as you just take a few shoulder rolls up, back, and around in one direction. And then you're just going to reverse the direction. Beautiful. Eventually, just letting the shoulders kind of land lightly, gliding down your back as your heart shines forward. Take an inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Fill up. Exhale, bow and fold. Flat back to inhale, palms to your shin. Palms plant, step, step back, high plank. Stay here or lower the knees as you lower all the way down to your belly. Fingertips are going to tent outside your mat, elbows to the sky, almost like you're going to try to protect delicious cupcakes under your hands. On your inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, dip the right shoulder, look over the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, dip the left shoulder, look over the right. One more on each side. Inhale through center. Exhale, right shoulder dips, look over the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, left shoulder dips, look over the right. Back through center. Lower it all the way down. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Press to yourself. Tabletop to child's pose. Stretch it back for a moment. And then take it to down dog. Two breaths here, filling up and letting go. Now, kind of a funky sun A variation. We'll take a more traditional one next. Take an inhale. Exhale, step, step, top of mat. Flat back to inhale. Fold to exhale. Rise, reach for the sky, grow tall. Bow, fold over your legs, melt. Flat back to inhale. Hands to the mat, step, step back, high plank. Lower all the way down. Palms press tops of the feet, press baby cobra. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop to down dog. That's one sun A variation. Fill up and let go. And breathe in and breathe out. Take one more inhale. Exhale, top of mat. Step it forward. Flat back to inhale. Fold to exhale. Root to rise. Arms reach for the sky. Bow over your legs and melt. Flat back to fill. Hands to the mat. Step back. High plank. Option to drop the knees. As you lower halfway, look. 
Inhale, upward dog, heart pulls through, thighs lift. Exhale, downward dog, hips lift. Three breaths. But each time you land, land in down dog, be your time to land. Your time to breathe. Your time to pause. Oh, so good. We're going to take one more sun A, whatever variation you like, step, step, or float top of mat. Flat back to inhale. Hold to exhale. Rise, grow so tall. Bow, fold over your legs. Flat back to fill, high to low push up, chaturanga dandasana. Open your heart, peel open, lift your hips, let it go. Fill up, sigh it out. Breathe in and breathe out. So, so good. Lift the right leg high. And bend your knee, open your hip, circle the knee, circle the ankle, wiggle the toes, take an inhale, exhale, square off the hips, knee to nose, hug it in, high plank, up and back, three-legged down dog, right foot's going to step between your hands, low lunge, release the left knee, bring your fingertips up to the sky, fill up, stay for the exhale. Take another full breath in, hands to the mat, frame the right foot, draw the right hip back, half split. I love blocks underneath the hands to bring the floor up to me, especially for that kind of first hamstring opener. Take one more breath in, exhale, bend the right knee, lift the left leg, runner's lunge. Arms are going to float back like airplane wings for a moment, just tapping into all this strength. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat, high to low, or a simple shift back to down dog. If you're taking that high to low, there's an up dog and a down dog. And breath in. And breath out. Left leg's going to lift high. Bend the knee, open the hips, circle the knee, circle the ankle, wiggle the toes, take an inhale. Exhale, square off the hips, knee to nose, hug it in, high plank. Up and back, three-legged down. Step it through, runner's lunge. Release the right knee, bring the fingertips to the sky, low lunge, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Take another full breath in, reach to the fingertips. Hands frame the left foot. Left leg straightens as you fold, half split, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Take another full breath in. Bend the left knee, lift the right leg, runner's lunge. Pause for a moment here, getting your feet underneath you. And then arms are going to sweep back like airplane wings. Fill up and let go. Take one more inhale. Hands to the mat. Step it back high to low or simple shift back to down back. Three breaths here. And we're going to add a little bit onto that sequence. Right leg lifts high. Take an inhale. Right foot's going to step, runner's lunge. Release the left knee. Bring the fingertips up, low lunge. Fill up. This time, hands frame the right foot. Both legs are going to straighten as you fold extended pyramid. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, runner's lunge. Bend the right knee. Rise to crescent lunge. Pause on the exhale. Take another full breath in here. And then exhale, warrior two, pivot it open. Right leg to the straighten, fingertips to the sky, gentle warrior. Warrior two, land. Breath in. 
breath out. Flip your right palm, reach up and back, reverse. Hands come to the mat. High to low push up or straight back to downward dog. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. Filling up and letting go. Left leg lifts high, inhale. Step it through runner's lunge. Release the right knee. Bring the finger tips up, low lunge. Fill all the way up. Exhale, hands frame the left foot. But both legs straighten as you fold extended pyramid. Take a breath in. Stay for the exhale. And then bend the left knee, runner's lunge. Rise all the way up to crescent. Pause. Take one more full breath in. Open it up, warrior two. Left leg straightens, fingertips reach, gentle warrior. Warrior two land. Breath in, breath out. Flip your left palm, reach up and back, reverse your warrior. Hands to the mat, high to low push up, or straight back to down dog. Land. Three breaths and down dog or child's pose. Maybe even close your eyes as you just let everything land. As you let yourself breathe. Already back to down dog. We're going to add on even more here. On your inhale, right leg's going to lift high. Exhale, step it through runner's lunge. Release the left knee. Bring your fingertips up, low lunge. Inhale, hands to the mat. To both legs, straighten and fold. Exhale. Inhale, runner's lunge. Rise to crescent, fingertips to the sky. Hands come to heart center here, and you're twisting to the right, left elbow to right thigh. Press the palms together, press the left heel back, and breathe. Three, hold, two, last big inhale, warrior two, open up, exhale. Right leg straightens, fingertips reach gentle, warrior, warrior two. Two, land. Flip your right palm, reach up and back, reverse. Easy twist, left hand down, left heel to the sky, right arm reaches. Take a full round of breath in and out. Both hands come inside the right foot. Pivot all 10 toes long at. Then the left knee straighten the right, skandasana. Back through center. And bend the right knee, straighten the left. One more on each side, a little side to side travel. Beautiful. And then the next time you inhale, pivot, runners lunge, top of the mat. Plant your palms, step it back, high to low. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Take a full breath in. And let it go. And breathing in. And breathing out. Left leg lifts high, inhale. Step it through runner's lunge. Release the right knee, bring the fingertips up, low lunge, take an inhale. Hands to the mat. Both legs straighten and fold, exhale. Take a breath in here. Exhale, runner's lunge. Rise to crescent. Hands to heart center, paw. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist right elbow to left thigh. Full inhale. Full exhale. Take one more inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open it up. Left leg straightens, fingertips reach. Gentle warrior. Warrior to land. 
Breath in, breath out. Flip your left palm, reach up and back, reverse. Easy twist, right hand down, right heel to the sky, peel it open, fill up and exhale. Both hands inside the left foot, pivot all 10 toes long edge. Bend the right knee, straighten the left skandasana. Back through center. Bend the left knee, straighten the right. One more on each side, side to side. And then pivot, runner's lunge facing the top of your mat. Take it back to down dog, high to low, up dog, to down dog. And land again, three full breaths. Catching up to yourself, catching up to your breath. Noticing your body. Beautiful, last little bit we're adding on here. Right leg lifts, high inhale. Step it through, runner's lunge. Release the left knee last time, reach low lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Both legs straighten, fold. Take a breath in. Exhale, runner's lunge. Reach up, crescent. Hands to heart center. Twist to the right, left elbow to right thigh. Breath in. Breath out. Take one more inhale. Warrior two. Spiral it open. Exhale. Right leg straightens, fingers, hips, reach, central warrior, warrior to land. Flip and reverse, reach it back. Right forearm to right thigh, left arm to the sky side, angle lunge. Pause for a moment, maybe even take a bind behind your low back or reach to the front of the space. Make it your own. Two more breaths. Rise up, warrior two. Flip and reverse, reach it back. Easy twist, left hand down, left heel to the sky, right arm reaches. Take a full breath in. Exhale, both hands inside the right foot. Pivot all 10 toes long edge. Take just a little ping pong back and forth. Skandasana to skandasana, getting into those inner thighs. Beautiful. One more round of breath, wherever you are. And then the next inhale takes you back to runner's lunge, top of your mat. Arms are gonna sweep back like airplane wings, heart to lift, take an inhale, exhale to fly airplane. Dial the left hip down as you reach through your fingertips and breathe. I inhale, I exhale, fill up, I let go. Land, chair pose, left foot meets your right, fingertips to the sky. Fold over the legs. Heel toe the feet out, hips with distance apart, maybe wider. Take your two piece fingers and your thumbs to your big toes. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold over the leg. Shake it out, wiggle it out, breathe it in. And breathe it out. All righty. Heel toe the feet back to touch at the top of your mat. Take a flat back to inhale. Bow and fold to exhale. Rise all the way up to stand, fingertips to the sky. Hands are going to come to heart center. Pause, Tadasana. Breath in, breath out. All your weight's coming on your left foot, so the opposite leg you were just standing on. And your right knee is gonna lift up to your chest. Right ankle can cross over the left thigh as you sit the hips back, standing figure four. So it's a little release to the right outer hip. Now hands can come to heart center for a bit more of a balance. You can even hold on to a wall or take the elbows to shins or forearm or hands to block. 
breaths. Whatever feels good in your body here for the next four breaths. Last big inhale, long exhale. Hands are gonna to float to heart center. You're lifting up just enough to unwind and send the right foot back, pause in warrior three. Right toes come down to the mat and right elbow hooks on left thigh for this twist, a little tricky transition. Anchor into your twist, take a full round of breath Oop, as I wobble, open it up warrior two. Left leg straight and fingertips reach gentle warrior. Warrior two lamp. Gentle warrior grow tall. Pivot all 10 toes to the long edge as your hands come to your hips. Take an inhale. Exhale fold. Hands to the mat. Head releases down. Shake it, yeah. Shake it now. Breathe it in. Let it go. Beautiful. Two more breaths here. Take in whatever variation of a fold you need. All right, pivot to face the top of the mat, runner's lunge. Take it back to downward dog, however you'd like to get there, high to low or straight back. Three breaths. All righty. I'm going to take that and finish up on the other side. Left leg lift high, inhale. Step it through runner's lunge. Release the right knee. Bring the fingertips up, low lunge. Inhale. Hands to the mat. Both legs straighten and fold. Exhale. Take a full breath in. Runner's lunge. Shift it forward. Rise to crescent. Fill up. Hands to the heart center. Twist. Right elbow to left thigh. We were just here. Stay for a little bit longer. Breath in. Breath out, another inhale. Exhale, spiral it open, warrior two. Left leg straight and fingertips reach. Gentle warrior, warrior two, land. Flip your left palm, reach up and back, reverse. Left forearm to left thigh, right arm to the sky, head angle lunge. Take a moment to land and then find a bind behind your low back or reach towards the front of the room. Two more breaths. Exhale, release your bind. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Flip and reverse, reach it back. Easy twist, right hand down. Right heel to the sky, left arm follows suit. Take an inhale. Exhale, skandasana, back of your mat. Right knee bends, left straightens. Back through center. Left knee bends, right straightens. One or two more here. And then it's runner's lunge, top of your mat. Arms are going to float back like airplane wings as you get your feet underneath you. Take an inhale. Exhale to fly airplane. Heart is lifted. Right heel is lifted. Three, two, chair pose, land one. Take an inhale. Fold, exhale. Feet come to hips a distance apart. Maybe even wider. You're either going to take the backs of your hands to the mat or floor or walk your hands underneath your feet for just a little wrist release. Release your hands to blocks. 
Heel toe your feet back to touch. Last little bit of work. Flat back inhale. Hold, exhale. Rise up, fill up. Hands come to heart center. Tadasana pause. Breath in, breath out. All your weights coming on to your right foot. As you cross your left ankle over your right thigh and sit back, standing figure four. Don't be afraid to hold on to anything or to change your gaze so it's finding a stable place to land. Sink in for four breaths. Hands to heart center, lift up. Unwind, left foot to the back of the mat. Warrior three, pause. Left toes land, left elbow to right thigh, twist. Take one full round of breath, and then open it up, warrior two. Right leg straight in, fingertips reach, gentle warrior. Warrior two, land. Gentle warrior, grow tall. Pivot all 10 toes to face the long edge. Hands come to the hips once more. Take a breath in. Or you can take a bind if you feel like you need a little more shoulder space. And then fold, let it go. But if that bind's not feeling great, it's not my favorite, but it sometimes feels really nice. Hands can come to the mat and you fold. Wiggle it out. Take what you need here for four breaths. Alrighty, hands come to the mat, flat back, inhale, fold to exhale, pivot to face the top of your mat, runner's lunge, one last high to low here, upward dog, downward dog, take a full inhale, and a long exhale, we're going to take a hip opener, either figure four like the beginning of practice, or half pigeon, for half pigeon, right leg lifts. Right knee draws toward the right wrist, right foot towards the left as the left leg reaches long. Take an inhale, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, lower your elbows to the mat. Forehead connects and you land. Softening, breathing, noticing. Coming back to that softness of hips, low belly, and pelvis. Two more breaths. Press yourself up onto your palms, lift your heart. Take it back to downward dog, however you'd like to get there. Breath in, breath out. Left leg lifts high, take an inhale. Left knee to left wrist. To left foot towards right as the right leg reaches long down your mat. Take a moment to inhale and then exhale, slowly soften onto your elbows and your forehead to the mat. Breathe.
Two more breaths. Press yourself up onto your palms and you're gonna make your way to seated, however you'd like to get there. Sometimes it can feel nice to place a block or a blanket under the hips just to elevate them a little bit. Take a moment to arrive and seat in. Just roll your shoulders forward a couple times. And then backwards a couple of times. Just going to do a little neck release before coming onto our back. Sit up nice and tall. Let the left ear drop to the left shoulder. And the right arm reach down to the side. From here, eyes are going to open and look down to the left. Just the eyes, not the head. Slow it down. Breathe in and out. Eyes through center, head through center. Shrug the shoulders up, let it go. Right ear is going to dip to right shoulder. Left arm is going to reach away, pop. Eyes are going to look down to the right. Eye through center, head through center, last shrug up, and then let it go. Remove your block, take a moment to extend the legs long. I'm gonna add another layer back on, just because I tend to get chilly as we get to the end of class. And you're gonna roll onto your back here. Hugging your knees into your chest, give yourself a big squeeze, and then come to a happy baby, reaching for the outsides of your feet or ankle. You might kick around a little bit, shake it a little bit left to right, being a truly happy exploratory baby here. Great. And then hug the knees in. Send the left leg long, hug the right knee and take an inhale. Exhale, right arm out to the side, right leg across your body for a twist. Soften. Breathe. Notice. Hug both knees back in, take an inhale. Exhale, right leg long, hug the left knee in. Take the left arm out to the side and the left leg across your body for a twist. Come on back through center, hug the knees in. Take a little circle of the low back in one direction and then the other. Let your feet find the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide, Supta Baddha Konasana. Hands can land on your physical body or they might reach up overhead if you feel like you need a little bit more opening today. Blocks under the thighs can always feel really good like so. Just continue to slow it down to notice where you've landed. Notice what you need. If there's any other poses or movements you need before you finish up practice, feel free to take them here. If not, come to your comfortable resting position. You might stay as you are. You might extend your legs long or you might find another comfortable resting place. 
Together, we'll take one last big inhale to fill and an open mouth. Dravasana. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, making gentle circles with your wrists and your ankles. Breathing movement back into your physical body, moment by moment, breath by breath. Take a big inhale to fill. And then exhale, gather your knees into your chest. Roll over onto one side of your body, gently pausing and grounding down. Feel the earth beneath you and the breath within you. With your eyes closed or a soft gaze, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Take a moment to land, to arrive fully. Together, we'll take one last big inhale to fill. And long exhale to let it go. Thumbs come to third eye center. It is with the utmost respect and gratitude that I bow to you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. My name is Carrie McGinn. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the chat. Otherwise, I will see you all next week. Bye, everyone.